hello guys you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome today's video i'll be showing you guys on how i made this beautiful luxury cow shaped booboo mixed with rhinestones it is very easy to make if this is what you would love to learn how to make please sit back relax and enjoy the tutorial and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel click the red button down below to subscribe and also click the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified so without further ado let's move right to the tutorial my fabric has been folded into four i am cutting the front and the back bodies together i rule my starting line On the starting line, I impute neck width 3 inches, neck depth for the back 1 inch, neck depth for the front 3.5 inches. Then I curve the necklines. From my center back to the sleeve length, I use the total length of the fabric. At that point, I measure 2 inches for the shoulder slope, then I connect it to the neck width. For my sleeve opening, I measure 13 inches. Shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches. Shoulder to my knee length is 42 inches. So I rule a straight line across the measurement. Between the hip line and the knee length, I find the midpoint and I marked it. On the knee length i impute my hip measurement divided by four plus four inches i impute the same measurement at the lower part and i rule that into a straight line total wideness is 17 inches for my side slit i measured 18 inches and i marked that on the sleeve opening i came in by three inches then from the 3 inches, I draw my cow shape to meet to the midpoint between the hip and the knee. Then from there, I join it straight down to my measurement. Before cutting it out, I added half inch to the shoulder for the shoulder seam. That's about it for the drafting. Next is to cut out. I first of all cut out the back neckline, the shoulder slope, and the sides. I notch the side slits I'll be sewing pockets to this dress so from the shoulder i measured downward 19 inches then i notch it then i remove the back bodies and continue with the front 
neckline. I cut out the front neckline. Then at the center front, I measured 4 inches. I slit it to the 4 inches mark. I slit the center front to the 4 inches mark so that my head will be able to pass through the neckline. Next is to cut facing for the necklines. The fabric for the facing is Dushes. You can use any fabric of your choice, but I'm using Dushes. I place the front neckline, making sure that the folded edge of the facing and the folded edge of the fabric aligns together. Then I trace out the neckline and the shoulder slope. I also slit the center front of the facing to the 4 inches mark. Then on the shoulder, I measured 6 inches. Then for the length of the facing, I measured about 15 inches or 16 inches. There about. At this point, you can use any measurement of your choice. Next is to cut facing for the back bodies. Make sure that the folded edge of the fabric and the facing aligns together and then trace the neckline. I place the front facing to the back, making sure that the width aligns together. Then for the back facing, the length, I used 5 inches. I measured 5 inches downward. From the neck depth, I measured 5 inches downward. The shape of my facing is a square shape. This is how I want it to be. So next that I will do, I will take to my ironing table, I'm going to iron estate to it. After ironing estate to the wrong side of the facing, then I will place the facing together. I will join the shoulders together. I will also join the shoulders of the fabric together. Front and the back bodies, I will join the shoulders together. After that, I will use the facing to turn the neckline of the bodies next is to cut out pockets my fabric is folded into four i place the bodies on it i'm going to trace out that cow shape on the pocket After that, I'll place my hand on it and trace out the shape of my hand. Then cut it out. For my pocket opening, I measured seven and a half inches. I have already made a detailed tutorial on how to cut and sew inseam pockets to your booboo. You can check my channel for the video. Why I'm showing you guys this process, it is because this one has a different shape. It is a cow shape. So this is just like showing you how to cut inseam pockets to your cow shape.
so after cutting the pocket i will place it to the bodies i'm going to pin it to the notch part of the bodies before taking it to the sewing machine to sew you first of all pin the pockets to both the front and the back bodies on the notch part the pocket edge has the same shape with the cow shape because i use the cow shape to trace the edge of the pocket as you can see it has the same shape so it will be very easy to sew on that cow shape so i'll take to my sewing machine following the shape i'm going to sew one inch after that i'll flip it over and top stitch i'll repeat the same process on the back bodies as well i have torn the neckline with facing at this point these rhinestones placement it is optional you can decide to fold the edges of the facing inward with half inch then take to your sewing machine to top stitch on it but i want to add these rhinestones to the facing so i will take it to my machine to press it down this is the design of the board that i used to create rhinestones on the transfer sheet this is the design that i use to create the rhinestones i've already made a detailed tutorial on how to use this board to create your rhinestone design and also place it on fabric so this is the transfer sheet i'm going to be using my scissors to cut it and place it on the facing I have top stitched the facing to the neckline as you can see so this part it is optional if you don't have this machine this part is optional so what i'm doing i'm measuring the length of the facing i'm starting from the back neckline so i'm measuring the neckline and i'm cutting the measurement on the transfer sheet then after cutting the measurement on the transfer sheet, I will place it on the facing. I will arrange it according to the shape of the facing. I will continue with this process till I cover the whole facing with the rhinestones. So after doing this, I'm going to sew my sides the down parts and that's about it for today's tutorial this is the final look guys we've come to the end of today's tutorial if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so i upload weekly tutorial on my channel also remember to click the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified until i come your way next please stay safe and remain blessed thanks for watching i love you all bye